Here in Latvia there's been lots of snow. We do go outside to have fun and be active, but sometimes we do need to go inside and warm up. So we hula hoop. Hello, my name is Minka and I'm six. I'm going to teach you a hula hoop move. It's called the peacock. It looks like this. It's perfect, even for beginners. And we do it all again. If you can't keep up the uh, hula hoop, then chuck up my medal with you. Definitely Minka already explained how to keep a hula hoop spinning because that is important for this move, that's how we start off, first we spin. When it's touching you in the back. You concentrate, try and slow down and bang, when it's the right time you put your arms behind you to stop your hula hoop. We show you slowly, so your arms go down behind you and your hoop is touching you on your back. You have to feel it, you have to concentrate. By your body and, arms. and you flip it to your back and try and catch it with two hands. From the back it may be more helpful to see. When it's touching you in the back you put your arms down, trap the hoop, then you're ready for the orbit. For that you can actually put your hoop down for a minute. With your palms looking away from you, you make this sweeping movement. That's how you catch the hoop and put it down the other hand. Let's pick the hula hoop up and give it a try. When you're ready to pick the hoop up, try it and put it from one hand to the other. Then spin one by one. We show you slowly even from the back. As you can see, the palms are always looking down away from you. Maybe slow it down in the beginning and later you can speed it up. When you feel good when it's on your back, then you push it back. And then all again. So your hoop is behind you, you trap it between your body and your arms and flip it so that it's ready for you to spin it and just start the move from the beginning. Now you have all the steps. Are you feeling ready for the full move? Let's give it a try a couple of times we show you from the back. The more you do it, the better it becomes, the easier it will feel. Have a look from the front, try it a few more times. Maybe now you can do it faster or it feels a little easier, you don't have to concentrate that much. This move you can try with a bigger or a smaller hula hoop. As long as you're able to spin the hoop around your waist even just a couple of times then you're good to go. And if you're feeling very confident and you're now very familiar with the steps and it looks awesome, why not grab someone, find a grown-up that you can show it to and you could teach it. <laughs> Playing together is a lot of fun and if you turn around you see it is even easier. So you can try and turn around same way as your hula hoop is going. If you are teaching this to your grown up be patient with them. They are always over complicating everything. We hope you had lots of fun and that you will come back and hula hoop with us some more. We're going to head out and enjoy the fresh air and sunshine. If you feel that you still need to practice a little more and need some more help, please watch the video again. Repetition always helps, it will make it all clear. We wish you lots of fun, well done for giving this a try. Happy hooping!